opium becomes more. And Russians believe that if they wait, they will pick the price. And I think they will be right. They would. Both of the pipelines will be operational. Now, the Azari pipeline still has importance. But Turkmenistan uh, to Europe, it makes no sense. Turkmenistan goes to China, gets much better price. And you bring it all the way. You, you, all the money that you want to invest, bring into Europe, in a declining market, no bank would lend you a penny. It makes no sense. And the Russians, they did it because they paid for it themselves. You're going to say, well, give me, give me a $25 billion to build a pipeline to Europe to supply European gas demand. The banks will laugh you out of the room. So by itself, it won't happen. It is going to be the Russians and domestic pipelines. And the demand goes down, the supply goes down, the Russian gas is there. LNG comes in to balance things, and more and more LNG gets diverted out to the uh, Asian market where there's 40 percent higher prices. That's the way it will work. Uh, one thing that's been a point of some discussion for years in the, the U.S., that it would be really nice to see that Turkmenistan gas get to India. So. Uh, any perspectives on that? Well, you know, that we have pipelines and pipe dreams. <laughs> this is a serious <laughs> pipe dream. You know. I'll give you uh, a two or three reasons why it, it makes no sense. It makes no sense because uh, look at the Iranian pipeline gas to uh, Pakistan. The gas at the border is $12 a million BTU at $100 oil. Okay. This is now a domestic Iranian pipeline when Mr. Shirazi was building this pipeline, I don't know, I got seven or I got nine, one of those things which was planned during the time that he was running the gas industry in Iran. So this is a domestic pipeline which finally materialized, and all they did is that they made the size of the pipeline to 54 inch wider. Gets to the Pakistani border, $12 a million BTU, and oil indexed, JCC, Japan crude cocktail indexed. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so then, now suppose you want to take it inside of Pakistan to the Indian border. At least $2 a million BTU cost there. That's 14. Now the Pakistanis would like an arm and a leg because I'm getting the gas through. So they're already asking about what transit fees are one or two dollars. So um, 14, 15, 16. Then you get to the HBJ pipeline in India and the, the throughput fees for that would be about a 